Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are doing my yearly favorites. I am so excited for this video. I have so many good things to share with you guys. It is the day after Christmas when I'm filming this, um, and I was going to film before Christmas, but then I got sick and stuff like that, so I didn't really get to get as many videos up as I would have liked this week or last week, whatever, but I am going to film a lot this week. I did take the week off from work, so look out for a lot of new videos. I'm really excited, but today I do want to do my yearly favorites because this year is wrapping up, and I wanted to get this video shot for you guys because I have a lot of good things to share. Now, I will say the things that I really do look for when I'm doing my yearly favorites, I kind of go back through a lot of my monthly favorites and pick the things from there, but also things that just really do stand out to me. Um, price is a huge factor for me. I don't get sent a lot of products. Um, I don't spend a lot of my money on a lot of high-end things. So a lot of this is drugstore. I do have a few high-end things that really just like in, despite their cost, they are just so worth it. They're so, so good. So I do have a few higher end things, but for the most part, it is really drugstore heavy this year. Um, I didn't really force myself to do like a high end in a drugstore for each different thing because that's just not me. I just kind of like to go with what I like and a lot of it just happened to be drugstore. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with this video. So it's really funny, I was getting dressed today and I totally realized that I wore like a greenish vest and a black shirt in last year's favorites, which is really funny. But I got this vest for Christmas and it is from Rosie Days, which is Casey Holmes here on YouTube. It's her boutique that she put out. I got I put a lot of stuff on my um, Christmas list this year from there because a lot of her stuff is so, so cute. But my mom said this was the only thing that she could get because everything else was out of stock. It's just like their sage vest and it has like little detail. I love it. It's so warm actually and it's really comfortable. So shout out to Casey on that one. I love it so much. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with the favorites. So let's go ahead and do face stuff. Um, primer. Okay. This primer is beyond good. It is the soft cover pore balm primer from Botanic farm. I found mine in Ulta for around $18, so it's not really cheap, but it's also not really expensive. It's kind of in the middle. You do get how many ounces? Well, it says 20 grams. It says made in Korea, so I think this is like a Korean beauty brand. It is so, so blurring, you guys. Like, I have used this a ton, and it's just amazing. I try other primers, and yeah, they work. They're fine, but this is like holy grail status. And I feel like a lot of things, honestly, in this video are holy grail status. Like, they're that good. But this is just so blurring. Like, lately I have been trying some other new, like, primers and stuff that have come out, and I just am like, mm, no, they don't really do anything. I put this on today and I was like, yes, like this is everything I want a primer to do. It blurs, it makes my skin look really good. It's not like super matte, super dewy, it just blurs. And that is what I personally really, really want. And it does it perfectly. This is an amazing, amazing primer. Okay, so for foundations, I have a couple to talk about. Both of them are drugstore. The one I am wearing today is from CoverGirl and this is the Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This came out like with a bang this year. It was so good. This is the shade 710. Normally I wear the shade 705. For some reason when I ordered this last time I ordered 710. I don't know. So it's a little dark so I do mix one of my NYX foundation mixers like the white one in with it. But I love this so much. It has a pump. I was a little worried at first because it did say this formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20 vitamins and an antioxidant. And I was like, oh, it's going to hydrate. It's going to be so dewy. But it's not. It makes your skin look so flawless and just natural and really, really good. But the coverage is still amazing. And that's what I like because sometimes I feel like with high coverage products, you have to suffer the way it looks on your skin and sometimes it'll look cakey and gross. Whereas with more like lightweight formulas and feels, you get not great coverage. Coverage. So I hate you kind of have to sacrifice, but this you don't. You get really amazing coverage. Like I do, didn't use any concealer today. I probably could here because I have some scarring just from some recent blemishes. But honestly, if I would have packed concealer on, it just would have looked worse. So I didn't. But it just, I feel like it doesn't look that bad. And I did have a little breakout on my chin because it's that time of the month. And it's not bad at all. So I just, I love this so much because it gives really good coverage, but your skin still looks like skin. Um, and the shade range I want to say on this is pretty good. Um, and like I said, it has a pump, which is always great. 
Okay, the next thing is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Liquid Foundation. I'm really surprised myself with this one, to be honest. It surprised me how much I liked it when I tried it last, I want to say January, when it came out. Because typically, again, I don't really like a lot of cushion foundations because they seem to be more sheer. And this is, this is definitely not like super full coverage, but it's great for every day. And it wears off really, really well. Not in the sense like, oh, it wears off really fast or anything, but it, it wears, it's foundation, you know, and it is a pretty thin formula. But it wears off really evenly, so it doesn't look crazy. Um, I like to just use a dampened sponge with this and you just get some on. And even so, even though this is like a liquid cushion foundation, it does offer really good coverage still. And I think that is what I love about this cushion foundation in particular, is that it's super thin, but you can build it up in spots that you want and the coverage is still really good. So love this. All right, for concealers, I have two to talk about. I have a corrector and then I have a concealer. So for blemishes, I will say, I didn't really do like a favorite because my all-time favorite is the NYX Got You Covered. I use this for blemishes all the time. So this is always a favorite, not necessarily just this year. But this year for corrector and under eye concealer, I do have some new things to share with you guys. Let me sit up a little bit. I'm looking a little like slouchy. Um, so the corrector I wanna talk about is from Catrice. And this is the Camouflage Cream and Wake Up Effect. This is so, so good. It looks a little bit lighter on camera, but to be honest, it is a lighter peach, almost like pink, I want to say, corrector, but it is so good because it does correct, but it does brighten. So it does kind of give you that wake up effect that it talks about, but it still corrects, which is what I feel like is missing from a lot of those like brightening concealers is the actual correcting thing. You know, they're really brightening, but they don't really correct any of the coloring. Where this truly, truly does correct the blueness under my eyes, and I love it so much. And it is drugstore, it's really affordable, and it's just, it's good. It's such a good corrector. It's a really good consistency too, because it's not super greasy or super like putty-ish. It's just a really nice, but it's not really thin either. It's a really good, like just middle of the road kind of corrector. It is a little bit drier, um, which I like because it stays in place. So it doesn't kind of like move around and stuff. It's just, it's a really good consistency, really good color. Everything across the board is good with this. Now for under the eyes, I have been loving this year. I actually repurchased this recently and this is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer. I really don't try a lot of CoverGirl products, which is funny because now that I'm saying this, I'm actually trying a bunch of their new releases. I guess I will say this. I don't typically love a lot of CoverGirl things. Like, a lot of their products are not like my diehard holy grails. But this and this are really good. So this concealer is so good for under the eyes. I am wearing it today. I have the shade 810 Fair, and what's really giving the brightening effect is the powder I'm gonna talk about later, not necessarily this. But this is such a good consistency, and that's what sold me on this concealer when I tried it. It's because it's so thin, um, but it still gives like good coverage. I would say it's like light to medium coverage. It's not like a tart shape tape, a really full coverage concealer. Those things are all fine and dandy, but this is so stinking hydrating for under your eyes, you guys. It doesn't look dry or crepey or gross throughout the day. It just looks so good. And honestly, for every day, this is perfect. For work, this is a great concealer because it conceals and it kind of gives me, you know, that really nice look, but it doesn't look like, okay, girl, you just like beat your face and you're gonna film. You know what I mean? And like for middle of the road, just everyday woman, I think that this is just great for because they can just use it every day. It has a nice like little squeezy tube with a sponge tip applicator and it's just good. It's just a really good consistency. Like that's just what really sold me on it was just how like moisturizing it felt and how um, just good it felt under my eyes. I really, really like it. If you're someone who is struggling with some fine lines under here, which who isn't, but um, yeah, this I think is really gonna be really good for you because it probably won't accentuate that very much. It's really nice. All right, for powders, I have a loose one and a pressed one to talk about. The loose one is from Maybelline and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I have the shade 05 Fair and that is what is giving me this bright under eye today. Maybe a little too bright, but I love it. <laughs> um, this powder is so stinking amazing. It doesn't give me that really caked look. This is my second one that I have purchased. It's just so good. The shade Zero Five Fair I love because it does give me that brightening effect. And typically, with for me and my skin tone, it's hard for me to. I just scratched my neck. I know I'm like red. 
sorry, I'm totally getting sidetracked. But for me, it's hard to kind of find a powder that really does brighten, and this does, but it doesn't look crazy and gross. I can apply it with a sponge, I can bake with this, and it looks great, or I can just use a brush kind of for every day and just like, ch -ch -ch, and I'm out the door and I'm good to go. This is just really nice. It's a really good consistency, really good color range. They have a lot of nice colors in this line. The Fit Me line is really good for just a really wide range of shades. Um, but yeah, I just, I love this powder, so good. Now for pressed, I have one from Hard Candy, and this I think is my third or fourth that I've bought from this. Like I have purchased a lot of these, and it is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Color Correcting Perfecting Powder. It, it looks kind of weird. So you get like a weaved look of like green, blue kind of color, purple, yellow, but this, I've said this before, I wanna say in a monthly favorites this year, but I will say it again. It literally fills in like every little like pore or just like ounce where your foundation wasn't really blended. It just kind of like fills everything in and it makes you look flawless. It is a very powdery powder though. So beware that like it will kick up a lot, but it is so, so good. It doesn't make me look like chalky or anything. I know with some color correcting powders it can do that. This doesn't do that at all. It is just so, so good and it makes you look flawless. All right, moving on to bronzer. So I have two to talk about, and both are from Physicians Formula, the Butter Bronzer. I mean, am I the like the last person to tell you guys that this is amazing? I mean, people beat this into our heads with how good it is, but it really is really good. I do wear the one in light bronzer just because I am more fair. I did hit pan on this this year. This didn't come out this year. I think it came out last year, um, but I'm talking about it this year. Because this year, I really just fell in love with it. It's just so good. It is just like the easiest bronzer. They recently released two more shades, so that's awesome. Now they have four shades in the line instead of two, and it smells just so good. It smells like coconut. It's amazing, but it's just... I, I put this in a video, like, products you can't mess up, because you really can't. Like, you could pile this bronzer on, and you cannot look crazy. It's amazing. It doesn't have a shimmer, but it does. It's not completely matte either. It has a really nice like satin finish, so it looks very natural on the skin. I just love it so, so much. It is what I'm wearing today just to bronze, and I think it looks beautiful every single time I wear it, and it is, it's, it is worth the hype. It is, and yeah, it just is. Maybe that's a video I'll do, like videos that are worth the hype. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would be interested. Um, anyways, I'm getting so sidetracked in this video. Like, holy moly. Um, okay, the next bronzing thing I want to talk about is also from Physicians Formula, but this is more like contouring, not so much bronzing. And it is the Bronze Booster Matte Sculpting Little Trio here. So you do get like a setting powder, which I've hit pan on. This is really great. A contour powder and then a bronzing powder. The bronzing powder is a little too deep for me, so I don't usually use that. I kind of just use these two. But this contour powder is so good because of the tone. It is a cooler tone. I'm wearing it today. And I think it looks really natural and really pretty. I even did it on my nose. This is the only contour powder I will use on my nose. And I don't contour my nose a lot. I might just like, oh, and this brush comes with it. And this brush is actually really good. I love this contour brush. It's amazing. So what I will do is I just take a little bit of the like the ashy one in the middle. And I'll just kind of carve out. But then for my nose, I'll just be like, choo -choo, choo -choo, and I'm good to go. I don't like really sit there and sculpt it out because my nose is fine. I don't really care. But it is just a really nice powder consistency. And it's good because you it's not like super soft. It's not like a really soft powder. So it doesn't pick up a lot of products. So you don't have to be really careful with it. That is something I feel like is really great for beginners in contouring because if you overdo it, it can be like very obvious and look a little much and like not blended. Where this gives you a really nice blended natural look for a contour. So love that. Okay, moving on to blush. The blushes I want to talk about are from Flower Beauty, and they are the Flower Pot blushes. You guys, these are so amazing. Like, oh my goodness, they are great. I have four of them that you can find in Walmart stores. I want to say there are five that you can find on the Flower Beauty website. Well, I think one of the shades is like exclusive to that website. But the one I'm wearing today is Sweet Pea. It is just the most beautiful everyday mauve type of color. It is just so, so good. I also really enjoy Wild Rose, which is a hot pink. It just looks super fresh on the skin. And then a couple warmer ones are Peach Primrose and Warm Hibiscus, which does have a shimmer in it. 
I love these. They last so stinking long on the skin. Like they are amazing. The staying power is so, so good. And they're pigmented, but they're not overly pigmented. Like kind of like I was saying with this bronzing thing, it's like it's pigmented, but it's not overly soft and powdery to where you have to be very careful with it. You can really just kind of like get your blush brush in there. You don't have to think about it too much and just kind of put it on and you are good to go. I love that about blushes because every day I don't want to be like, Ooh, tap, tap, tap. Oh, I still look like a clown. I got to sit here and blend forever. Like, I don't have time for that in the morning. When I need to get to work, I got to get to work. Like, I just want something that's going to be great and pretty and easy. And this is that for me. It is so sinking good because, like I said, they're pigmented, but they're still a really nice consistency. So you don't have to blend forever. It is awesome. These blushes are great. My highlighting pick is also from Flower. So this is their... Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. It did come with a brush. I don't know where that went. That was long gone. Um, you get like a gold one, a pink one, and a champagne one. The champagne one I have almost hit pan on. It is what I'm wearing today. I don't know if you guys can really see because I did kind of blend it. This is what I used on my sister's wedding day. I used this on every single bridesmaid. My sister had nine bridesmaids. <laughs> I used them on every single bridesmaid and on my sister who was the bride, obviously. I used it on our faces and on our bodies. It was a summer wedding and so I had a, like collarbones and shoulders highlighted everywhere and this is the palette I used because it did have some really nice tones so if someone was a little bit deeper of a tone I could use the gold um, and then if you were more fair toned I could kind of use the pink and the champagne one a lot of the time to be honest I just kind of mixed them all that's typically what I do I just kind of mix all of them and just call it a day they are so shimmery and so pretty but not glittery they give the most like they honestly kind of look like a cream highlighter on the skin. They they look like a cream, but they are a powder. It is so, so good. They are so finely milled. They are a little bit powdery because they are pretty soft, but they are gorgeous. Like this highlighting palette, honestly, like Becca highlighter status. This is so, so good. And honestly, I have a lot of highlighters. And when I reached for this for my sister's wedding, I was like, yeah, like I definitely need to put this in my yearly favorites because this is what... I use out of all of my highlighters I chose this and so that says a lot just saying all right the last thing for face I want to touch on is setting spray I have a drugstore pick and a high-end pick and they're kind of different reasons and I will tell you why my drugstore pick is obviously Milani make it last hello what nice to see you again you have been in my life ever since you were released I this is probably the third maybe maybe fourth no, I think it's the third that I've bought of this. It is so good, you guys. For every single day, it keeps my makeup on beautifully. It kind of just mushes everything together on my face, and it looks really good. It's just awesome. Like, this is just, hands down, best drugstore setting spray. If you are going to buy one, get this. It is so good. Now, for high end, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter. Now, this is in the new packaging, and actually, I was sent this bottle from Octoly. I was lucky enough to receive it. I do have one in the old packaging in my bottom drawer that um, was like a travel size that I found at Nordstrom Rack when they were kind of coming out with these because it was getting closer to my sister's wedding. And I was like, you know, I love my Milani, but I remember when my other sister got married like four years ago, is that she bought the Urban Decay All Nighter and she was like raving about it. And of course everyone raves about it. So when I saw it was only 10 bucks for the like travel size at Nordstrom Rack, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll buy it. So I took the plunge and I did it. I used it for my sister's wedding, lost my mind. like. The, it was in June that she got married, and it was hot as balls. It was so gross outside, and I just remember I have oily skin, and so I was just sweating, and I kept asking, all, like, other bridesmaids. I was like, okay, like, how's my sweat stash? Like, do I need to blot? Do I need to powder? And they were all like, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. And then, but I was like, okay, like, your version of good and, like, my version of good are probably a little different because, you know, it's me. So I would, like, check in the mirror, obviously, and I was fine. Like, I wasn't oily. And it was like hours after makeup was done. And I was like, and we took pictures outside in the sun and it was gross. Like it was so sweaty and nasty. And I just remember being like, I don't need a powder. Like what is happening? And I really do. I attest that to the Urban Decay All Nighter. So then I've done a couple weddings since then, just like makeup for like friends of friends and stuff. And um, I have used this on them and it is just the best. It is so good. I don't have to touch up with this. The Milani, if I use like a long wearing foundation with the Milani, I'm good to go. Like I don't have to touch up at all. 
But if I would do like a thinner foundation or one that, you know, kind of breaks up a little bit and I would use this, I may have to touch up throughout the day, maybe like once. But this, I don't have to at all. It keeps everything locked in. It's amazing. I just could not even get over it. I was like, holy moly, this is really worth the hype. Again, I should probably do that video. But anyways, it's just, it's good. It's so, so good. And I, I just, I totally, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's move on to eyes. Really quick for mascaras, I am just still loving my Essence Eye Heart Extreme Waterproof. I did try a couple other Essence one this, this past year that I really did like, but this just always wins. Like, let's call a spade a spade. It takes the cake. Um, and my CoverGirl Calm Crusher Water Resistant for the lower lashes. It's great, too. And then for eyeliner, my Milani Stay Matte is still the one I am loving. I didn't find this one this year that topped this. It is just so good. Okay, so those are kind of like my three holy grails that are going to be in every yearly favorites. But let's get into the newer stuff. So for eyeshadow primer, I love the Essence Eye Heart Stage. I tried this one in the color intensifying one this year, and this one was the one that stuck around for me because the color intensifying, it made it look a little too bright. Like it, it just, it made it a little too much. This, it keeps my eyeshadow on. It does everything I want a primer to do, but because it has that beigey color, it cancels out all of my veins and everything. And it just makes for a really nice, even skinned look on my eyelids and so it's super cheap it's really great it's not like greasy or like overly tacky it's just a really great consistency and color and i love it all right for eyeliners another essence product um my essence extreme lasting easy glide waterproof eyeliners oh my goodness i love them so so much um this is the second nude one that i have had this is in silky nude and they are like pencils you have to sharpen they're not retractable but they are so creamy and they lock in place you guys so silky nude i love um but first espresso is the brown one that i use all the time and then i also love my black love that's my black one i they have other colors but these are like the three pencil eyeliners that i colors that I pretty much wear. And so I love them. And honestly, my sister was using them the other day. She was over here and she was doing her makeup and she was like, do you have eyeliner? And I said, oh yeah, like just, you know, they're in my top drawer, you know, they're essence ones. And she was like, oh, don't you have more? And I was like, yeah, but honestly, I don't really use them. Like I love my essence ones. And she was like, oh, okay. Well then she was using it and she was like, oh my gosh, this feels like liquid. And I was like, I know, they are amazing and they're only like $3 a piece, it is awesome. So totally recommend these, they are so good, creamy, full color, not streaky, but they set, it is just so, so good. All right, next I have two Maybelline products to talk about. So the first one is for brows, and this isn't necessarily a brow filler product, but it is something that I use every single day. This is probably the fourth one I have bought, and this is the Brow Precise Highlighting Perfect Highlighter. So it is a highlighting crayon, and it has a nice like angle to it, so it fits under your brow so beautifully. But what I love about this is how creamy it is. I cannot stand when I have like a brow highlighter thing and it's hard and it's really difficult to like blend out. It's just like, it makes you work too hard. I cannot stand that. It's like, come on, man. I don't have time to sit here and like blend out. And then it messes up your eyeshadow or when they're really hard and they like hurt when you carve out your brows. I just, I cannot handle that. This is so creamy and the angle makes it just so easy, like I was saying, but it blends out like a dream. This is the only thing I have on my brow bone today and it just gives a really nice natural finished look, but it's not as creamy as concealer. And that's another thing. I've tried to use concealer under there and it's too creamy and liquidy to where it really doesn't like pop, you know? This has some thickness to it to where it still kind of sits right there after you blend it out and it does give you that nice highlighted look, but it's matte, it sets completely, it just looks beautiful. I love it. And I do put shimmer on top of this sometimes, but usually I just kind of leave it how it is and I really enjoy it. I think it's great. Okay, for eyeshadow, I have the Maybelline City Mini Palettes. Now, I love like Lorac, Too Faced, 
Anastasia, Makeup Geek, like all of those typical favorites. I love, honestly, they are great. But this year I was like really thinking about what came out this year that I love, and it's the City Mini Palettes. Now I know some people are not huge fans of these. I, however, disagree with a lot of people apparently. Um, this one that I have right here is Chill Brunch Neutrals. And this one has some shimmers and some mattes in it. I am wearing this one all over my lid today. I did foil this one. I typically like the shimmers foiled. So I will take my like Milani spray and kind of just spritz my brush and then go in. And I like that look a little bit better. It's just a little bit more metallic. Um, but they blend very, very well. So I have this on my lid today and then I used matte about town which this one is all matte and it is sold exclusively at Walgreens so you can only find this at Walgreens I know I've had some people ask me where I have found this at um, and that is what it says at Walgreens is that this is an exclusive palette so yes it is matte about town this one is all matte this one is my favorite out of the two that I have this one is great um, I love the mattes kind of better than the shimmers and that's why this one's my favorite the shimmers are good but like I said I do like them foiled better but the mattes oh my goodness they blend so stupid well like it is a amazing <laughs> it is amazing I have hit pan on this one this is like a really great kind of warmer transition shade. Um, today I have this and this kind of as my transition shades. I have a little bit of that in the crease, a little bit of that on the outer corner, this a little bit on the inner corner. I just, I love this. It's so good. They blend just so well. They are a softer shadow, so they will kind of kick up powder a little bit, but they are just so good. So again, I love the City Mini palettes. I think they're great. Um, the mattes are my favorite though, so Matte About Town, best. Alrighty, let's move on to lips. I am so excited. This year, I feel like I was bound and determined to find a liquid lipstick that was comfortable. And I love my Milani and I love my Jouer. I think those are the two, or maybe I put Lorac in last year. I don't remember, but I, I do. I love those. But this year, I was like, I feel like a lot of liquid lipsticks were coming out and I was like, I gotta find the comfy ones. Like, I am over this drying nonsense. Like, nobody has time for that. So, I have I found some and they're really good so I'm gonna share them with you guys because that's what this video is so all right let's start off with Ofra Ofra liquid lipsticks again worth the hype so stinking good they are a formula that is really thin um but they kind of feel like a cream like they're they're really good and they don't overly dry your lips or anything like that they are just outstanding um i have the shade americano which is the most recent one i have gotten this is like a warmish brown type of color it's really pretty this one was actually sent to me from octoly um the most recently i've had three out of the four have been sent to me but i did purchase this one but anyways, so this is the most recent one. I have Manhattan, which is a gorgeous mauve color, like purpley mauve, oh my goodness. Atlantic City, which is a great red, and then Pasadena, which is a really pretty like pinky neutral. I love them, like I said, they're a thin formula, but they are just creamy still. They're not like overly long wearing, um, like they will kiss off and stuff, but I will take that because they're not like super drying. So love these so, so much. Okay. Um, next, the up, uh, this one is high end and they are the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. Love these. Oh my goodness. These are the three full size ones I have. I do have some other like mini ones. Um, I have Slay and Smooch, which are beautiful. Smooch is like a light lilac color. It is stunning. I love it. Um, Slay is a really pretty, just kind of mauve, like light mauve though. And then I have Swank, which is a more like deeper red type of color. Um, really great formula. It is more like moussey. It's not super liquidy. And again, they will kiss off onto things, but they are just so stinking comfortable to wear and they feel really good on the lips and a little bit goes a long way with these so just don't use too much product and uh, again they're really like moussey type of texture so that is why i love them because they have a little bit more moisture in them 
All right, I have two drugstore liquid lipsticks to talk about. Um, the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. Oh my goodness, I think these came out last January and they just like exploded. Everyone was obsessed with these and I, I think that they're amazing. Like again, another product that's totally worth the hype. Um, two of my favorite shades, I have other ones sitting up here, but two of my favorites are Rebel Rose, which is a great cool tone mauve, and then Berry Recognize, which is a great berry color. They are so thin and comfortable. Um, I love them. I just think that they are so, so, so good. They're really inexpensive. They just put out a bunch of new shades too in their spring launch. Um, again, a thinner formula, but these are more long wearing than the other two I just mentioned. They definitely lock on a little bit more, so they're really good. And the last liquid lipstick I want to talk about is from, whoa, I just dropped one, um, from Maybelline, and it is the Superstay Matte Inks. Oh my goodness, love these so much. I've sung their praises since they've come out. A couple of my favorites are Lover. It's a really great pink color. I love Ruler. This is one of their newer ones, and it's like a muted red. It's really pretty. I also really like Fighter. It's a nice, like, warm orange kind of color. And then I also really like Poet, which is a great kind of peachy neutral shade. I These three are, like, newer that they just released but these some people think they're sticky and I, I see what they're saying they are they have a little bit of like stick to them um but I kind of like it because it's very hydrating it's not like super drying on my lips so I don't mind the little bit of tackiness to them um and they are very very long wearing it is awesome so I love these so much okay I have two more products to talk about um, we are gonna do lip liners and then also these new lipsticks that I always have one thing I feel like that kind of just like slides in right <laughs> at the end of the year that like takes over and is amazing and this year it was totally the L'Oreal Colorish Shine lipsticks. These are a new launch from L'Oreal and I tried Shining Peach first which looks like so and then I was like oh wow okay yeah I like this I only got one shade because I was like I know L'Oreal lipsticks have a smell these don't have that smell they don't they don't they don't smell like anything it's awesome and so I was like mm, I don't like them so I was like I only get one shade so I got shining peach well then I tried it and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna need more um and so I got this one which is burnished blush and that is what I'm wearing today it is a beautiful rose oh my goodness you guys these are so good for every single day wear they are like let me I can add some more they are shiny, they are glossy and comfortable, and but they're not overly thick. Sometimes with tinted balms, I hate how like thick they are, like especially if they're in like a lipstick type of tube. You know what I'm talking about. And you it feels goopy. This doesn't feel like that. It feels so thin. I can like layer it up as much as I want. Like I can reapply this left and right, and it does not matter. It is that good and it's just wonderful like this formula is just so good so like I said I tried these in December but there's always one thing that just slips in and I was like honestly out of all the tinted balms I've tried this is my favorite like it is so so good so I love these all right the last thing I want to talk about are lip liners and if you've watched my videos you probably know which one I'm talking about Koki lip liners oh my goodness. So Koki, I don't know if they came out. Oh, I'm so red because I've been itching. I don't know if they came out this year. I just oh, lost a sharpener. Um, Or if they just kind of came available in Walmart stores this year. I'm not sure. But anyway, so they were released in Walmart and a Walmart near my work. I'm a mess. Um, had a display. And so I bought some things and these lip liners, they are retractable. First of all, they do come with like a little shaper on the end. This one just flew off, um, but I never use it to be honest. They are retractable. They kind of come with like a little pencil grip thing right there. Um, the creamiest lip liners ever and they lock in place. This one is my all-time favorite. No, this one is. This is my all-time favorite and this is Dusty Rose. This is the second one of these that I have purchased because um, I used the other one up. I love this shade so much it is like the best everyday color ever i love it um this red is true red beautiful red lip liner and then this one is natural which i'm actually wearing today with that l'oreal burnished blush lip color 
it is, they are just the creamiest lip liners. They set, they don't pull, they don't tug. You don't gotta work really hard with them. I just was completely blown away by these lip liners this year and this is just my all time favorite thing ever. They're so good. Favorite lip liners ever, ever, ever. Like holy grail status. Again, this year's favorites was so much like holy grail stuff. It's just, I just feel like I found a lot of just really great things. So thank you guys for watching and for sticking with me another year. Leave any of your favorite products in the comments below. Be on the lookout and subscribe because I have a lot of really fun drugstore videos coming for you guys. A lot of new reviews on some products and things like that. So again, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with me for this really long video. But I hope you liked it and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.